Hey, this question comes from Angelo, and Angelo asks, what are your feelings about the afterlife? In other words, what happens next? And uh, I'm gonna answer this question by almost not answering it. <laughs> so bear with me, here's what I mean. I believe, just like you heard in high school science class, that energy is never created or destroyed, it just changes form. I believe that the truth about you isn't this physical body any more than the truth about you is the clothes that you're wearing. I believe that the truth about you and me and about everyone else is absolutely infinite. I believe that there is no end to you, to me, to this experience. I believe that there is no end to anything in this universe. But beyond that, I'm not gonna tell you. I'm not gonna tell you what my feelings are about the specifics because here's the thing. Spending all your time thinking about what you're gonna do next is a colossal, spiritual, metaphysical, and every other way missing of the point. First of all, it's silly for me to talk about what happens next because I'm not next, I'm here. So there's a level at which, I don't know, I haven't been there. But more than that, there are so many people that spend all of their time trying to figure out how to pack their spiritual bags. They think if I do the right things and I do the right dances and I say the right words and I go the right places, I'll get to get out of this and I'll get to go to heaven or nirvana or somewhere else one way or another. If I'm good enough or if I suffer enough or some combination of the two, I get to leave. And you know what? That's a valid belief system no matter what the particulars are. That's fine, but you got to admit that if you spend all of your time worrying about what's next, you're not gonna have a very healthy right now, are you? This is something I talk about a lot. If you're in a relationship with somebody and you say, I'm just sticking around until I meet a better person, until I meet the right person, you are in the middle of a very unhealthy relationship. And so in exactly the same way, spending all of your time thinking about what's gonna happen next prevents you from really engaging with right now, prevents you from being good right now. And you know what? Just like in the here and now, your tomorrow is made out of what you do today. No matter what it is that you're thinking about for next, the way to have your next be worthwhile, the way to have your next be a good next is to be really good at right now and tomorrow and eventuality and whatever you want to call it, eternity will take care of itself. Show up for right now and stop worrying about what's next. Because I got to tell you, just like I always say, right now there's something that deserves your attention. Right now there's something that needs, requires, demands your light, your love, your beauty, your truth. Right now happens when we let go of the stuff that hurts and we demand the stuff that works. Now is the time to do that. And the more you focus on now, next will take care of itself. Stop living like life is short and start living like every moment is the beginning of a brand new infinity. Everything you say, everything you do, everything you think is infinitely creative. So what do you want to make right now? Not next, right now. That's the question. And I can't wait to see what your answer is. Thanks for sending in your questions and your answers. Thank you for subscribing to these videos. And like always, what I want you to do right now is go to facebook.com slash Dieter Randolph and click on that like button. And you know what? Spread the word. I'm trying to get to a thousand likes and I need all the help I can get. Thanks very much. Take care of yourself.